Hello everyone. In the last video, we have discussed about the limitations of single step matching. And now, in this video, we are going to derive a double step matching derivation. So, so in the double step matching, we'll be having two steps. So this is your first step. And the length of the step one is L1 and the length of the step two is L2. And then the distance between step one and step two is D2. And the distance between the step one to the load is D1. Now, that the first step whose length is L1. So as I have said before, the length of the step one is L1 to be located at a point one and one dash at a distance of D1 to the load. And similarly, the input impedance at any point on the line is given by, we know that S, Zs is given by, that is your input impedance. It is given by Z0 into Zr plus J, Z0 tan beta S by Z0 plus J, Zr into tan beta S. So this is the input impedance. This is the input impedance at any point on the transmission line. Now we know the admittance is the reciprocal of the impedance. So we can write Zs as 1 by Ys and also Z0 as 1 by Y0 and Zr as 1 by Yr. So now we can substitute this in the equation 1. We will get. So instead of Zs, we can write 1 by Ys and instead of Z0, we can write 1 by Y0. And similarly, instead of Zr, we can write 1 by Yr plus J. Instead of this Z0, we can write 1 by Y0 into tan beta S divided by 1 by Y0 plus J, 1 by Yr tan beta S. So after substituting, we have to multiply and divide by Yr. If we multiply and divide by Yr, what we will get? So Yr divided by Yr, this becomes 1 plus J, Yr divided by Y0 into tan beta S divided by Yr divided by Y0 plus J, Yr divided by Y0, this will become 1 into tan beta S. So we got, so if you multiply and divide by Yr, you will get 1 by Ys is equal to 1 by Y0 into 1 plus J, Yr by Y0 into tan beta S divided by Yr by Y0 plus J tan beta S. Now, just rearrange this equation as Ys by Y0. So Ys by Y0 is given by Yr by Y0 plus J tan beta S divided by 1 plus J Yr by Y0 into tan beta S. Now we can write y, uh, how we will write the normalized load impedance. Zr is equal to Zr by Z0, right? So similarly, the normalized load, uh, uh, that means the normalized input admittance is given by Ys is given by Ys by Y0. So this is your normalized input admittance. Similarly, the normalized load admittance is given by Yr by Y0. So we can replace this Ys by Y0 as small Ys. That is your normalized input admittance and Yr by Y0 as normalized load admittance. That is your small Yr. So if you replace this, you will get Ys is equal to Yr plus J tan beta S divided by 1 plus J Yr into tan beta S. So name it as an equation 2. Now we have to rationalize this equation 2. So you will get Yr plus J tan beta S divided by 1 plus J Yr into tan beta S. So if you rationalize it, you will get 1 minus J Yr into tan beta S divided by 1 minus J Yr into tan beta S. So you just multiply this. So after equating this equation, you will get Ys is equal to Yr into 1 plus tan square beta S divided by 1 plus Yr square into tan square beta S plus J. 1 minus Yr square into tan beta S divided by 1 plus Yr square into tan square beta S. Now name it as an equation 3. Now at point 1 and 1 dash, we have the distance as S is equal to D1, right? So substituting instead of S, yes, just substitute D1. So instead of S, yes, if you substitute D1, you will get Ys is equal to Yr into 1 plus tan square beta D1. So instead of S, yes, substitute as D1. So divided by 1 plus Yr square into tan square beta D1 plus J into 1 minus Yr square into tan beta D1 divided by 1 plus Yr square into tan square beta D1. So this is in the formation of G. So this entire term is considered to be G plus J into this is B. So this is a conductance term and this is the susceptance term. So when a stub 1 having a susceptance plus or minus J B11 
is added at this point, the new admittance value is given by ys dash is equal to g1 plus j beta 1 dash. Now name it as an equation 5. So where your b1 dash can be written as b1 plus or minus b11 and g1 remains unchanged. Now the input admittance of the line looking towards a load at 2, 2 dash. 2, 2 dash is nothing but the point at the second stub is located. So this is the point at which your second stub is located, 2 and 2 dash. Now the distance between your stub 2 and stub 1 is D2. And also the length of the stub is L2. So here at this location, the input admittance of the line, so it is looking towards the load at 2, 2 dash. So it is given by Ys is equal to G0. Name it as an equation 6. Or the line should appear terminated in its characteristic impedance at that point. So thus, the 2, 2 dash point should be at a location on the line having the normalized admittance of. So the admittance is given by Y, 2, 2 dash is equal to Ys by G0. And it is given by 1 plus or minus J, B, 2, 2 dash. Now, the condition is G1. That, that, that means what? Here the conductance is 1, right? So the G is equal to one circle on the Smith chart will be in the locus of all such admittance resonated by the stub of susceptance plus or minus J B 2 2 to give the desired normalized admittance Y S by uh, Y S by G naught is equal to one at two two dash on the line. 